Hi everyone. Um, so first, let's start with a little. I want to start with a little experiment. Um, growing up, uh, my brother and I had a tape player or tape recorder about the size of a shoebox and um, had a handle so you could carry it around. And we were given uh, uh, blank tapes to play with. We would record ourselves, you know, like kids like to do. And, and play it back, and we had, you know, and then we had, uh, got a little older, we had, we had, we had cassettes to, uh, um, to listen to. In fact, my, um, our very, my very first album that I ever owned, um, was the, uh, Thriller album, uh, Michael Jackson, that was a gift to the, to the both of us, and... Um, we, we listened to that thing, like, I mean, every day, every, every day, as soon as we got home from school, okay, this is, <laughs> okay, full disclosure, every day we get home from school, we go down to the basement, and we listen to the album, while... <laughs> Then sitting on the floor in the basement was this big sheet of cardboard, and while we listened, we would practice our break dancing. So <laughs> I got pretty good at the backspin. I ha I I have to say. Um, <laughs> so, um, and that was actually, and then that album was was my introduction to Paul McCartney because you know the uh, um, this the girl is mine. And I was like, who's this Paul McCartney guy? <laughs> so that's, and eventually I learned, I learned who, who, he, who he is and, and everything. So anyway, so that's, that was fun. So I found this in the closet while I was looking for probably something for a video. And a little while ago. And we would use this in the tape, the tape recorder. To as we were playing, you know, we'd, we'd get, you know, blank tapes and we'd record ourselves, you know, talking and, and like kids do. And, and, um, anyway, so I found out that this thing, the jack, fits into the tablet. So, I, so there's my experiment. So I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to talk the same volume that I'm talking now. And I want you to I want you to tell me in the comments if it makes any difference to you. So don't adjust your volume. Um, so I will say the same sentence. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kiki is a green bird. Kiki is a green bird. Kiki is a green bird. So was, is there a difference? I'll play it back when I get done, and um, but I want you guys to tell me that um, because if it actually changes, I could this would be very, this would be very helpful. So you'll have to, you'll have to you guys want to let me know. Okay, so um, so waiting on the icky yum box. I haven't even, I haven't had a chance to talk to them about scheduling, so maybe this weekend. We'll see. Um, and um, and I am in the process of uh, in the hiring on process. I just scheduled my drug testing, um, which is standard standard procedure. Um, and uh, so, if everything goes according to plan, my my hire date will be March eighth. So that's exciting. Um, I get paid a dollar more <laughs> and um and i'll have holiday pay for the first time in like four and a half years so that'll be that'll be and vacation pay for some four and a half years so i'm excited about that okay so um story time that's what that's what i said and that's what it says on the title okay so i think i told you before i've got i've got dozens of stories well, maybe not that many. <laughs> From the uh, wildlife wildlife rehab center that I volunteered at for four years, 
once a week. Um, I saw, like I said, I saw a lot of things I will never see again in my the rest my rest of my life. Um, that uh, I will always treasure. Um, mostly good. Some bad things, some gross things. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, so what I want to tell you about the pelican. So, uh, um, so I got there one, one week and they informed me that, um, somebody brought in a pelican. It was a juvenile. Um, you could tell because pelicans are white, but when they're hatched, they, they feather out as a dark gray. And there, you, there's other birds that do this too, like gulls, um, bald eagles um, are, are good examples. And so they, fe they first feather out, and they first fe feather out as babies, um, they're a dark gray. And then as, as they get older, every time they molt out, they get a little lighter gray and a little lighter gray until they become um, uh, an adult, uh, few years old sometimes and that's when they're um they're they're full white so that's you can kind of tell the age of a, of a bird in that in, in that way that's if it's one of, one of those birds um so this was a uh, kind of a medium gray um uh, pelican and i guess it had um it had uh flew into somebody's crash landed in somebody's garage and um and so it was injured. Um, so they so they somehow packed it up and and drove it to the uh, um, clinic, and uh, which was at the time was on the campus, the uh, U of M, University of Minnesota um, campus, the uh, um, St. Paul one, which is all the the agriculture. Um, the, uh, the Rapture Center is there, the, the, uh, the vet med medicine, the vet med, um, hospital is there, so, um, and, uh, so, so they, so they, it was, so they brought it in. Well, they didn't have a cage big enough for this bird. So they decided to just let it wander around. Um, where I spent m the majority of my time when I was there was in the treatment area, uh, which was a clo enclosed hallway um, that had um, it had five, five rooms, four or five rooms in it. Um, there was one room for just um, they called the mammal ward, so your squirrels and raccoons and stuff. Um, and then a shelf with uh, uh, ten gallon aquariums for uh, bats. Um, and then there was a kind of a small narrow room that was just for um, the when uh, people brought in um, baby mammals like baby squirrels, baby bunnies. And they needed to do an intake, um, and then, and then they would, then they they had they had special volunteers that would, that had special training that would take them home, because they had to be bottle fed every couple hours, so, you know, around the clock type of thing. So, so that that was that what that room was for. And then there was the avian ward room. And that's where all the birds were kept. Um, your, you know. Not your water waterfowl, but the you know the regular birds, you know your sparrows and so on. Um, and then there was the room that had the food, and so the volunteers that came in to to clean clean all the cages and feed feed all the animals. That's that, that's where they prepped all the food. And then there was the treatment room. And that's that's where I spent spent my time uh, working with the vet, um, doing whatever what we what we had to do. And so. This pelican was allowed to wander around, so he'd wander up and down the hallway, and he'd go into all the rooms, um, whatever whatever he wanted. And I, I I can't tell you how many times I I was in the treatment room, and we'd be, you know, her name was Kathy, and 
Kathy and I would be, you know, busy doing something or whatever, and out of the corner of my eye, I could see something, uh, something slowly come in, come into the room, and he never said anything. I assume it's a he. I don't know. He never said anything, but he would just very slowly just kind of walk around. Um, the treatment room had two exam tables in it, and so you just kind of had to, you know, walk around the tables. And sometimes I'd be going from point A to point B in the room, and he'd be just standing there in my way. So I just had to take my fingers and put them behind his head and just kind of gently push him along out of my way. Um, but, uh, so he, when he got there, he had a, I think, I think he had a broken wing, I believe. Um, but the, he was there, the longer he was there, the more things wrong they found with him. So they found an infection in his bill and they found something wrong with his leg and they, and it was, and, um, we were told not to name, we weren't allowed to name the animals, because then you get too attached, and then you can't, you have trouble releasing them. That's the whole point. Um, and then the other thing with him was uh, he would only eat the small minnows. And I'll, this bird, this thing, I mean, this, this bird stood like at least three feet tall, maybe four feet. And all he would eat were these little, little minnows. And, <laughs> and of course, you know, this was... They didn't have the space to house all these all these fish that he needed to eat every day. So every day, the volunteer somebody had to drive to a bait shop and buy all these minnows for him to eat for that for that day. So it was getting expensive. <laughs> then he learned to associate um, the you know the, the little green um, netting that you get like at pet stores for for your fish that color green that, that the net is, he learned to associate that color green with food because so, that's what they would bring the minnows in. And, um, and so they started talking about, you know, like, he's been here a long, I don't, I don't remember how long he was there, but he was there for weeks. And they started talking about, we need to release this guy. <laughs> well, the last draw came when a volunteer showed up wearing pants the same color as that netting. He attacked her <laughs> and he was released really soon after that. Um, I assume he's doing well, I have no idea. But he was, he was, uh, he was, you know, I saw in four years, I probably saw hundreds of animals. Um, that one, I remember, I will, I will remember the rest of my life. Um, you know, so. Um, yeah, he never, like I said, I never knew what they, I still don't know what they sound like, but, um, but he was just, <laughs> so, so that was fun. Um, so, um, that's the end of that story, and, uh, boy, are we sleepy or what? Our C's awake. Yeah. And, yeah, chitter, chatter, chatter. Um, so I'm assuming you guys, no one actually said it. I gotta, I just gotta add this. Nobody actually said it, but I'm assuming you guys like my, uh, my, uh, old lady comedy bit. Um, so I, nobody said they didn't like it. So, so I will continue doing that. Uh, not today. Um. I have uh, two or three in mind, and then I gotta start um, writing uh, more comedy bits, and so which is that's why this this is not gonna be a weekly thing because I will quickly run out of material. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so I think that's it. I got um, Sunday's video to film, and. Um, so, let me know about the microphone, if it, if it changed anything, and um, I will, I keep saying this, but I will get around to comments, hearting, heart, 
hurting all your comments play like that. And so, um, I guess that's it. Bye.